guys, welcome back to another video today. Now, I know I said I wasn't going to be doing a video today because I'd be too tired, but today I just have to. So, today I'm going to be doing my WWE Tables Ladder TLC 2017 review. Now, TLC stands for Tables, Ladders and Chairs, if some of you might wonder. And there's one match every year, maybe sometimes two. Mostly it's one. And the main event is normally of the pay-per-view is normally a tables, ladders and chairs match. So you're allowed to, you can't be disqualified. If someone comes out and attacks you, well, you can't be disqualified, you're screwed then. But anyway, guys, in this video, I'm going to be doing my TL, WWE TFC 2017 review. So yeah, let's get straight into this. So I watched it live last night. Um... I'm still pretty tired, but as you know, in England, it starts at, well, the kick of the show starts at midnight, but um, I started watching at, like, quarter to one. It start, The fo main show started at one, and then it ended at, f like, quarter past four. I think it was eight, exactly four. When I finished, I checked on my phone, and it was, like, two minutes past four or something like that. Anyway, guys, yeah, so it started at one, and it finished at four. So, uh, obviously, I'm really tired stayed up all night and watched it on my TV downstairs. But yeah, guys. Um, first match was... I didn't really see this, but Sasha Banks defeated Alicia Fox by submission. So I was right with one of my predictions. I'm not going to say anything about that match because I didn't see it, obviously, because it was on the pre-show or kick show or whatever you like to call it. But yeah, I didn't see that match, but at least I got my predictions right that... Alicia, no, not Alicia Fox, Sasha Banks would win. But anyway, guys, second, the second match after that was on the, the actual main show was, if I can remember it, it was, hang on, guys, hang on, guys, it's in, it's at the, Asuka versus Emma, and obviously Asuka won. Lots of people called her Asuka, but I call her Asuka. So, yeah. And Asuka won, obviously. Another prediction, right? Jesus Christ. And, yeah, obviously, um, Asuka, um, um, Asuka won because it's her debut. And she hasn't been beaten in two years since 2015, which is actually quite impressive. Asuka streak and the Undertaker streak. Yeah, two streaks. Um... And basically, Asuka won. It was actually a pretty good match. Bit, bit brutal. Because in one scene, um, Asuka was on the time buckles. And Emma literally just booted her in the back about three times. And she just fell. But then Asuka won. And yeah, because I don't really watch NXT that much. It's actually the first match I've seen Asuka in. So pretty impressive match for the first match in WWE. Jesus, after surviving three boots in the back. Jesus Christ. But anyway, guys, the the match after that, the third match was Rich Swan and Kedrick Alexander versus the Brian Kendrick, Kendrick, the Brian Kendrick and Gentleman Jack Gallagher. Now, Gallagher, Gallagher, I call him Gallagher. But yeah, guys, Kedrick Alexander and Rich Swan won, which I predict on, as you can see. Still in my pajamas. Um, Dean Ambrose, Edge Styles, and John Cena and SmackDown Live pajamas. Yeah, but yeah, guys. So another prediction, right? I've got all my predictions right so far. I'm not sure if I got. I think I got like one wrong or two. I don't know. Um, but yeah, guys. Um, Kendrick Alexander and Rich won one, and as you know, I predicted on them to win. Yeah, I can't really remember that match that much because I didn't really see it that I did see it, but I kind of was a bit tired during that match. So, but I think it like end. Yeah, it ended with I don't know the name of their finishes, but it ended with Kedge with Rich Swan doing his finisher and then Kedge Alexander doing his finisher straight after. And then one, two, three, they won. But yeah, another prediction, right? So the pay per view is good so far. Then the next match was. Um, um, Mickey James versus Alexa Bliss. Um, for the Royal Women's Title, I um got the prediction right. Alexa Bliss retained, and Mickey James got all upset and that. And she did a little speech thanking everyone or something like that. And basically, guys, it was actually quite a good match. That was actually it was like it. That was a brutal match as well. But you know, it it. 
like I've got my predictions right so far, but I knew they were gonna make um Alexa Bliss retain because they always make they they like Alexa Bliss has had the title for a while now, and they're probably gonna do something with her. They're probably gonna do like a match, like a massive match, like Suka versus Alexa Bliss or something. That'd be a good dream match. That'd be a good match. But yeah, guys. Um, the next match I think was yeah it was Enzo Amore. Oh yeah, I've got all my predictions right so far. But it was Enzo Amore versus Kalisto for the Cruiserweight Championship. Kalisto was defending and Enzo Amore beat him. So I'm not sure if I got that one right. I can't remember from yesterday if I predicted on Kalisto or Enzo Amore. If you do know, do remember, please comment down below. Um so that I could see how many predictions I got right. So, yeah. Also, there was a match added, but you'll hear about that a bit later. There was a match that w wasn't supposed to happen, but then it was added to the show, like, out of nowhere. But, yeah, guys. Um, um, <clears throat> they, the, yeah, Enzo Mori won the title back. Like, it was kind of a weird match. I mean, it wasn't, like, the best Cruiserweight match. But... I'd say it was a good match. It wasn't the best, but you know, I've seen better cruiserweight championship matches. I've seen better like cruiserweight matches than like two or five live matches. But you guys, it was a pretty good match. I wouldn't say like the best, but it was a pretty good match. Enzo Amore won. But yeah, comment down below what I predicted on as well. The next match was Finn Balor versus AJ Styles. AJ Styles got put, they lended, SmackDown Live lended AJ Styles to Raw for just one night only. So yeah, guys, um, basically, guys, um, Finn Balor won, like, I don't know, I don't know what I'm saying right now, but yeah. Basically, Finn Balor won because it was a pretty brutal match. It was probably one of the best matches on there. That was the main event, but yeah, I'll get more into that later on in the video. Basically, it was an 18-minute um, match between AJ Styles and Finn Balor. Finn Balor won in the end. He came out in his demon attire, which was pretty cool. And the match was, like, really good. Very brutal. Lots of... Random kick outs. A bit like, you know, last year at SummerSlam, AJ Styles vs. John Cena went on for ages and it was really brutal. I'm um, sorry if I have a bit of hair sticking up here. It's just from last night because I was so tired. I slept in a weird way. But yeah, guys. Um, you know, it was a bit like that match, AJ Styles vs. John Cena, SummerSlam 2016. But, thi but this match was pretty good. It was a good match. It was like a. It was probably. When I was watching it, I was on the edge of my seat because. You know, you didn't know if AJ Styles was going to win off Finn Balor. And it was really hard because I like both of them. But, yeah, you know, I used to hate AJ Styles when he, you know, was in a feud with Dean Ambrose because I like Dean Ambrose. And I'm okay with him now. But, yeah, guys, Finn Balor won in the end. And I'm not sure if I got that prediction right as well. So comment down below if um, if I predicted on Enzo Mora Colisto. And also comment down below if I predict on Finn Balor or AJ Styles. I'm not really sure yet. But yeah, guys, the match that was added after, I can't really do anything on that. I got it right. But it was, they added a match on called Elias. Because they're in late, before, like, God, when the show started and all that, Elias Sampson kept, did two tries at doing a song. And, uh, well... Basically, what happened was, um, well, basically, um, basically, um, basically, um, Jason Jordan vers was annoying him doing it by throwing fruit at him for some reason. It was funny, and then they got into a match, and then Jason Jordan won. Can't really say much on that match because it was a bit boring, but yeah, I didn't really predict anything on that, so I'm kind of just gonna miss that one out with my predictions. I'll say I got it wrong because, you know, I don't want to cheat. But the match was added, so I didn't get time to do a prediction. But yeah, guys. 
next match was the main event. It was the best match on the show. 35 minutes long. It was brilliant. It was Kurt Angle, Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins, as you know, Roman Reigns got taken away due to, the vi due to a viral infection that got Roman Reigns and Bray Wyatt, that's what Bray Wyatt didn't face him with Valor, but yeah, it was Kurt Angle, Kurt Angle wore the shield suit, it was really, it looked really weird, um, he looked like some guy, who was like an old guy, he was trying to get in with the cool lads, like all that, but yeah, it was a good match, um, in the end, it was Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose and Kurt Angle versus Kane, Braun Strowman, the Miz, Cesaro, and Sheamus. And literally, the match was like the best TLC match ever. Jesus, guys, I loved that so much. I was literally just staring at it, and my eyes were glued to the screen. Because in the end, you know, Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose, and Kurt Angle won. But it was a good, it was brilliant, it was a brilliant um, match. It was like the best TLC match I've ever seen. And yeah. Um, basically what happened was, guys, during the match, like, Kurt Angle got badly hurt because Braun Strowman did a running power slam through it. No, let me start off. Basically, Seth Rollins, um, Dean Ambrose and Kurt Angle were laying waste on everyone. They knocked that down, the Miz, Cesaro and Sheamus, and they were all down. And then they knocked down Kane and Braun Strowman. Right, Kane and Braun Strowman were on the announcement tables, two of the announcement tables. They had two ladders. Kurt Angle was standing in the middle of them. Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose got up on them two ladders. They leaped off and did like a sort of frog splash thing through the table. Dean Ambrose went, went through the table that Kane was on. He, he literally just crushed Kane. And Seth Rollins went through the t table that Braun Strowman was on and he crushed Braun Strowman. So yeah, guys, that was a good bit. Then later on in the match, the, they, Cesar, the Miz's team, you know, I'm not going to say all their names, they started doing good, and then Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins were down, and then Kurt Angle got a running, a Braun Strowman running power slam, did a running power slam through a table to Kurt Angle. Kurt Angle was really hurt, so they had to take Kurt Angle out, and then Kurt Angle was like collapsing on the way. He wasn't like passing out, but he was like falling down on his knees and legs and all that, and basically they had to, the referees and all that, and security people had to take him out, and then... Um, it was two on five, obviously, and Rick and so Rick Flair, Seth Rollins, and Dean Ambrose were really badly hurt. They were like, uh, they they were like, duh, I don't know, because that went on for a while. That was like for fifteen minutes of the. Sorry, someone just knocked my door, but it's just a rant. It's probably a de delivery person, and basically. Um, what happened was Dean Ambrose and Seth Rollins got beaten to a pulp for the last 15 minutes, for about, no, for about 20 minutes, they were beaten to a pulp. And then a few times they'd start fighting back and gain power again, and then they'd be taken down. But, yeah, guys, then Kane, whilst they were in the ring... Kane went to hit Seth Rollins with a chair and Seth Rollins stopped down and he accidentally hit Braun Strowman and then Braun Strowman got mad at, obviously and they did get on for the rest of the match and basically also I got my predictions right for the, the shoot no, for Seth Rollins, Dean Ambrose and Kurt Angle to win but yeah guys um, Kane and Braun Strowman didn't get along for the rest of the match and I'll tell you why a bit later basically when they were on no not a bit later now when there's a scene where they were on stage and basically on the stage there were like ladders tables and there were chairs hanging from the ceiling like six rows of chairs hanging from the ceiling with about 20 chairs on each six rows hanging from the ceiling and um, Kane got angry at Braun Strowman because I think Braun Strowman might have accidentally hit Kane and then basically what happened was um, I think like Kane put no oh yeah um, Kane got into a fight with Braun Strowman and then Cesaro, Sheamus and The Miz were just watching on that. What the hell was going on? Actually, no, I think they were beating up like Seth Rollins and Dean Ambrose or something like that. And then, basically, Kane did some sort... I think it was either a tombstone or a chokeslam or a powerbomb. I think he chokeslammed him through the stage. Not, like, straight through it, but, yeah, straight through it. He um, chokeslammed him straight through the stage. Then, that, that one of the rows full of 20 chairs, he pulled down he grabbed the one of the chairs and he pulled it 
brought all the chairs down and it literally just all fell apart and it literally just all crushed on Braun Strowman. It literally just fell on Braun Strowman. He was buried in like about 20 chairs. Jesus Christ. And basically, Kane walked off and Miz and Cesaro and Sheamus were telling him to stop. And Kane just walked off. And it's, ha it's good that Kane's back because he wasn't in the WWE for a while, but it's good that he's back. And basically, what happened was um, basically. Um, they started beating her up, and then Miz t got um asked like a garbage um truck to come out, a rubbish truck, or I'll call it a garbage truck. Um, and he got a garbage truck to come out, and it was one of those things where like you know what I mean, guys. If you don't go watch it on YouTube or whatever you do, or WWE Network or something like that. But anyway, guys, yeah. Um, I don't want Ben then. I didn't know what I just did. I don't. I didn't know. I don't know what I just did. Um, but what I just did. I don't know what I just done. But anyway, guys, I'm so weird. But yeah, guys, basically what happened was my hair's all weird today. Basically, what happened was they f they went to throw Severons and Dean Ambrose in there, and Severons and Dean Ambrose start beating each other up, and then, um. Uh, no, it's not beating each other up. It's like beating Cesaro, Sheamus and the Miz up and Kane. And then Braun Strowman came over. And, Braun, and the, no, obviously the Miz, Cesaro, Sheamus and Kane start beating up Dean Aaron and Seth Rollins again. Um, and basically what happened was... Um, basically what happened was... Was Braun Strowman came over, started fighting... Um started getting into a fight with Kane, and then me, Cesaro, Seamus, and Kane, they all turned on Braun Strowman, they threw him in the garbage truck, they made it, <coughs> sorry, I've got a cough, guys, <coughs> and then they decided to throw him in it, so they try and crush him or something, I don't think he actually got crushed, but yeah, guys, they decided to throw him in that, and... Basically what happened basically what happened was Miz was like, should we have done that? And then they just carried on the match without Braun Strowman. It was so funny because you see I think you can see like a bit of Braun Strowman's arm hanging out. It's so funny. Guys. And basically what happened was um if you haven't seen I wouldn't recommend watching this if you haven't seen the TL. Well, you wouldn't watch it anyway if you haven't seen it yet. But if you wanna know the matches if before you've seen it, then watch this video if you want, or watch others. Please watch this video, though. No. And basically, what happened was, um, Kurt Angle came back out after beating the hell, beating the hell out of Severin's Dean Ambrose. They started coming out and beating them up, and then basically what happened was, um, Kurt Angle started beating the hell out of all four of them. Severin's Dean Ambrose gained power again, so did Kurt Angle, and they started beating them all up as Kurt Angle came back out before, obviously. And basically what happened was, Kurt Angle literally, he, basically what happened was, Seth Rollins, they took out Kane, Cesaro and Sheamus, and Miz was in the ring. Seth Rollins did that, what, whatever spring knee thing, the spinning knee thing. I'll call it the spinning knee. He did this finisher, the spinning knee, or whatever it's called. And basically then um, he bounced back off. Dean Ambrose, dirty decent. Um, Miz jumped, bounced back up. It was really funny how he bounced. He was like, boom, boom off the floor. And then um, Kurt Angle did the angle slam. They called it the Olympic slam, but I call it the angle slam. Just be like, you know, it's called the ankle lock. I call it the angle lock. Um, but yeah, he does, does the angle slam and then what they do is, they did is, they picked him up and they did a trip bubble and Kurt Angle took Roman's place um, in that just one match. And then they did the triple power bomb to him, Kurt Angle finally got the pin, Kurt Angle pinned Miz and one, two, three, match is finally over. 35, 35 minutes long, it was one, the best TLC match I've ever seen and yeah guys, Thank you for watching this um, review. I'm sorry it's like 19 minutes long. I'm sorry about that. I just needed to get all of that in. And yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Also, comment, remember to comment down below that stuff I told you to do before. But yeah, guys, thank you for watching this video. Make sure you like, subscribe, and comment to keep the channel supported. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Boy! Subscribe.